How's it going everybody? My name is Trezzy and welcome back to another video and welcome back to X Defiant. So guys, I've been having an absolute blast playing X Defiant. Today is like the first day I've actually genuinely been playing it. Um, I know I probably am recording, I'm recording this the same day as my last X Defiant video that you guys seen, like my first impression. So today's still that same day, but I really want to give sniping a proper try. I really haven't done too much in that department. Just going over to the loadouts to show you guys some of the stuff I've been using. The AK has been valid. You know, I heard that the AK is really good and it's been living up to that hype so far. It has been pretty amazing, but the gun I really fell in love with was the M16, dude. The M16 to me is probably one of the craziest weapons in my opinion at the moment um again today's my day one impression so up to this point the m16 has been absolutely nuts i had this weird issue like where i was stuttering a whole bunch and i just don't understand what it was i just reset my game and for some reason the nvidia game capture is like ruining things too right now i don't know this game just came out so I'm, i can't hate too much but yeah man when i mean when i tell you guys i've been having an absolute blast playing this game everything has been so amazing like the fact that there's no skill-based matchmaking or anything bro has been so just such a refreshing experience bro i mean practically like every game you play on call of duty mw3 or just any of the past cods always feels like a ranked match because you're just playing cracked players after cracked players it feels good to just actually play against some bad players sometimes that's the way it used to be and that's the way honestly it should stay just from here on out like call of duty take some notes man also make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new i would greatly appreciate it oh my god don't know how i killed that guy and that guy's also dead Oh wait, invisibility in my face? Oh my god, I killed that guy. Do that. Bro, I tried to go for the no-scope. Also guys, please do let me know how you guys are enjoying X Defiant if you guys tried it out. I would love to hear your opinions, you know, with Call of Duty being such a mainstream FPS shooter that we've been used to for so long. Then you have something like X Defiant coming to the picture. Not saying that this is like a COD killer or anything, because COD just has such a crazy fan player base bro but honestly it's something different and i'd love to hear you guys opinions on it oh my god bro dude this ultra is ridiculous dude it's actually just ridiculous dude that's die for, through a wall? Oh, Colette. Oh, baby. I was not moaning. Dude, I haven't even taken like a good look at like this battle pass. Like, is it worth getting? Is it too early? Question mark, question mark. Also, like, I haven't really tried any like any other operators. Like, what do we got here? We got like, yeah, okay, bro. This is like the guy, bro. What was it? Like Purifier, bro? Whatever his name was on BO3, bro. Like... This guy just be lighting, lighting shit up. You got the Phantom over here. You got the Liberated. But honestly, I just rock, I just rock the Echelon, Echelon, Echelon. I'm pretty sure it's Echelon. Bro, this is kind of close quarters. From what I remember, like, this might be an interesting map to snipe on. Whiffing shots already. There we go. Bro, they hate me. They absolutely hate me, bro. I, I'm so sorry. I don't know why, though, man. Like, this game makes me nervous, though. Like, just because I see the potential in this game. Like, the potential it has. Bro, I just... Nothing's ever really gonna... Like I said earlier, like, nothing's really gonna ever, like, top Call of Duty. Just because... If it's player base, bro, it has way too many fans, bro. Like, me being one of them. Dude, I literally just died through a wall. Like, you, you can't, bro, do that. What the hell was that? But yeah, like, especially, like, when, like, a Black Ops 6 comes out. You know, like, a new Call of Duty. Like, is, does that, is that just the end of this game forever? Or, like, until we get tired of it? Like, where do we go? You know, what kind of updates are we gonna see? That sort of thing. You know what I mean? I mean, because the game is so new and so fresh. And sometimes, like, games are just, like, a fling. And honestly, I don't want this game to be just a fling. Like, I want it to be something that lasts for a while. Honestly, fingers crossed, I'm hoping for the best when it comes to this game. I'm hoping that, you know, we get some good 
updates and it, it honestly keeps people around like it would be interesting to be able to have like a new call of duty like a black ops 6 and also have like an alternative like we all have those moments like when we just want to take a break and go play something else is this game different enough from something like that to where we'd want to play this instead of the call of duty hit marker what bro i had another hit marker bro i'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight Bro, bro, the hit, bro, the hit markers, bro. Oh, I mean, but yeah, guys, I mean, so far, Exit Fine has been a blast. I mean, I've been enjoying it so much. I literally, honestly, like, I can't really play MW3. Like, MW3 is probably, like, one of the best CODs we've actually had in the last couple years, and I just haven't been able to find the enjoyment in it. It's like, I can get on there, and I can frag, and I can frag, and I can frag, but, but it's just, like, I'm not really driven to continue to play matches. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day, with BO3, or even on Modern Warfare 2, like, I was able able to just you know continue to play games after games and have the urge like to continue to play that's honestly the feeling i'm having with x defined right now it's really fresh but like i'm continuously having the urge to continue to play i just never really got that with mw3 and honestly my experience was ruined on mw3 because i was having this weird stutter issue going on that literally even activision and their customer support team literally couldn't even help me either bro i don't know what it was i literally had to just wait months and i had to revert to playing it on my playstation and it just was horrible and honestly the playstation 5 experience isn't a bad experience it's just once you play on pc and get a taste of it you just never want to go back yeah guys i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna grind out the m16 a little bit more before i decide to call it a night for myself and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video again a little bit different me kind of talking through the video instead of just making an intro and showing you guys past gameplay or something like that so hope you guys enjoy the style i hope you guys are going to be enjoying all the content that we have in store because guys i am on an upload frenzy i am so excited to be back home and and uploading and doing you know playing all these new games that are coming out and everything like that so i hope you guys are uh, ready for for the upload spam because i probably am going to be uploading quite a lot so yeah uh anyway i love you guys appreciate you guys Peace out.